In this video, we will show you how to get started with the SAM D21 Explained Pro Evaluation Kit using MPLAB Code Configurator, also known as MCC. Clone the MPLAB Harmony V3 repositories and install the software shown here. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone these Harmony packages. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch these videos. You can find the links in the video's description. For this demonstration, we will use the SAM D21 Explained Pro Evaluation Kit. This project is based on an ARM Cortex M0 Plus SAM D21 X Pro MCU. This kit has an onboard embedded debugger. For more information, watch the SAM D21 Explained Pro Evaluation Kit video or visit the kit page. The demo application reads the current room temperature from the temperature sensor on the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit. The temperature read is displayed on a serial console periodically every 500 milliseconds. Also, LED 0 is toggled every time the temperature is displayed on the serial console. To achieve this, we will set up the hardware, download the project from the kit page, open the project and launch the MCC, check the peripheral configurations in the MCC, Review the application code, then compile the project and see the output. Let us set up the hardware as shown to test functionality. To get started developing applications on this board, open the web page for this evaluation kit shown here. Download the zip file for the getting started demo project, which includes the demo firmware. First, Extract the demo firmware and open the project in the MPLABX IDE. Go to Tools, Embedded and open MCC, which will open the project graph. Before opening the project graph, the content manager will prompt you to download the required Harmony content for the demo application. Once you have downloaded the content, the project graph window pops up. Here. You can see the various peripherals configured for the SAM D21 XPro MCU. Click on a peripheral block to see how that peripheral has been configured. For example, if you click on CIRCOM3, you can see that it has been configured as a USART to print the LED toggling rate and the temperature values. Or if you click on CIRCOM2, you will see that it has been configured as an I2C master to read the temperature values from the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit. Click on the real-time clock RTC peripheral library and you can see that this peripheral has been configured to generate a 500 milliseconds timeout interrupt. If you click on the external interrupt controller EIC peripheral library, you can see that this peripheral has been configured to read the switch SW0 status change. If you want to configure other system-specific peripherals, Use the drop-down menu under Plugins and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, to configure Clock, open the Clock EC View window by clicking on Clock Configuration. Here, you can see that the main clock is set to the default clock frequency of 48 MHz. Select Pin Configuration option. In the Pin Settings tab, you can see that the pin PA15's function has been configured as external interrupt EIC underscore EXTINT15 for switch SW0 and pin PB30's function has been configured as GPIO to toggle user LED 0. You can use MCC to add another peripheral, reconfigure the project and generate the code. You can use the MCC Content Manager to clone or download the Harmony packages or upgrade the existing packages anytime. You can go to the project configuration path anytime and check the various files to understand how the project was implemented. The demo application reads the current room temperature from the temperature sensor on the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit. The temperature read is displayed on a serial console periodically every 500 milliseconds. Also, LED 0 is toggled every time the temperature is displayed on the serial console. This code uses the UART to send the strings periodically. Under Project Properties in MPLABX IDE, select the target kit in the Connected Hardware Tool drop-down. Then click OK. 
Open a terminal application on your PC, such as TerraTerm, and set up the serial port. You can now use the MPLABX ID to build your project and program the evaluation kit. Here, you can see the temperature data displayed on the console. The periodicity of the timeout will change from 500 milliseconds to 1 second, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, and back to 500 milliseconds every time you press the switch SW0 on the board. Also, LED0 is toggled every time the temperature is displayed on the serial console. Navigate to the link shown on the screen for more application demos for the SAM D21X Pro board or other development boards or kits through the MPLAB Discover. Also, please visit microship.com slash harmony to learn more about MPLAB Harmony V3 features, benefits and other information. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.